Did you know that Nigeria budgets to pay rent for Aso Villa yearly? Who is our landlord? Who is in Aso Rock? The presidential villa was built with taxpayers' money, but we pay rent to an unknown landlord. We've been asking this question for years. Maybe we'll get an answer before the 2021 budget is finally passed. But now, our landlady, the wife of the president, has relocated to Dubai. Will the president finally agree that Nigeria is no longer safe? But what will Alaji Mohammed, Nigeria's Minister of Information, say this time? I know he reacts quickly to fake news. Will he tell us this is just a figment of our imaginations too? The APC youth have thrown in the towel. They claim they can no longer defend this government, particularly with President Buhari choosing to visit his cattle rather than families of abducted schoolboys in Kankara, Katsina, while he's on a private visit to Katsina himself. I assumed going home on a private visit was to avoid being embarrassed by the National Assembly that had invited the president to answer questions on the state of insecurity across the country. But to be in Katsina and not go to commiserate with the governor and families whose children were abducted is morally unacceptable for the father of the nation. His predecessor, who he criticizes so much for insecurity, would at least show up, show face, and make promises. And patience, Jonathan, never absconded. Is this a sign that Nigeria is definitely more insecure than it was under President Jonathan? If the first family is absconding and relegating responsibility, who is in Asso Rock then? Where will Nigerian citizens run to if the president's family aren't safe in the country with the security apparatus at their beck and call? My advocacy today is to agree with Governor Shei Makinde of Oyo State that what Nigeria needs is security and restructuring rather than keep borrowing money from everywhere even the pensions fund as suggested by Governor Fayemi of Ikiti State, to sustain states that are no longer economically viable under our present arrangement. Nigeria needs to sell Asu Rock and let everyone go back to their regions to seek prosperity and security of lives based on each region's resources and potentials. Nigerian lives have deteriorated in the last 21 years. We can't keep doing the same thing. Do you agree we should sell us a rock? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. I disagree. I like that. Uh, and government should be no, part time. No, but if you have somebody time. like Evans at 40 who has not seen good, good governance, governance mm. then yes. why do we have... In 40 this? years. It's, in 40 years. It's the building Except the what problem. Except in the I don't think things. that the building is the problem. <laughs> the Yoruba should say, no, but truly, we no, but truly the American president pays for his rent in, white, in the White House. Yes. No, he pays for the state. He pays for the state. Yeah. Do we do the same thing here? No. Since we're no. No. No, the presidential the system. Oh. Who is, Our own landlord, who is, we don't know. Who we is don't know who the landlord is. Who is, who is the landlord? I, we I, I, don't know. I, I am not sure I've seen. I mean, I've done I, I extensive work on the Nigerian as well. budget. Let's, and I'm not sure I've seen rent as an item on that list. Yeah, that is have you no, seen but, but there's presidential. I've done I've yes. drawn an analysis of at least for eight or nine years of Nigerian budget. I've seen it yeah. twice. Go I've, I've, I've seen it twice. Hello, there's rent. Let, there's let me, rent. Let me, let me now talk on the, well, no some of the other issues that were mentioned. Right, you see, right. when I get confused about certain issues, I try to personalize it to make sense out of it. Okay. So when I heard that the president went to see his cattle, mm. I have a 14-year-old boy too, and I'm asking myself, oh, he could have been in that school. Mm -hmm. So he if he is part, God forbid, if he's part of the people that got Kidnap. We like go to check cattle like. in that. So, and and that brought it clearly to my face that uh, something is seriously seriously, seriously wrong. 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 Yeah. This is what we can do. Let us deregulate Asso Rock, like he said. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We can we can we can decentralize it. Let's move back to our regions, our Correct. various states. Yeah. Let's yeah. develop the government governance from native intelligence and from the roots. 
and then let's contribute to whatever it is left of the center. Therefore, we will have a prosperous future where to stand on. Like in my place, there's no federal government presence in Ndokwa Okwane Oh, you have a jail <laughs> as you speak. They have a prison. The only thing we have is a federal prison that was built before 1960. And this is terrible. <laughs> Right, okay, well, let's take you. Let's, what's your take? The funny thing is, in Canada, we have provinces, and there's no central anything. And each province self-auto-regulates. <laughs> we create our own income. For example, I'm a physician in Toronto. I'm also a physician in Saskatchewan. I have two separate licenses, two, two separate boards. So each state, if you will, we will call province, generates their own income for themselves. And there's no central government where we're paying anything to. Mm. We do pay taxes. Um, to the central government. Yeah, there are federal but taxes you must, in Canada. You must still pay your state taxes. So bottom line is, our government in Nigeria is not working for us. It's exactly. too large, and the people are too di um, divided across the country. And you cannot look after me in Ugweru from Abuja. It's not True. possible. How would you know what my problems are? True. You understand? So this is where the problem is. We need to restructure our government. The style that we're doing is not working for us. Yeah, I agree. Right. Okay, for me, um, first of all, how do you even plan to take away more than 300 children, students from school? Mm. And our security apparatus, as it is, could not do intelligence work, did not get to know. Mm. And then more than a week after, we've been doing talk shops Talking, 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 governor of the Katsina State talking, police not talking, um, the military not talking. Nothing is going on, you're just talking. No mm. action that this is what we have done. And that's what I'm asking the government today on the show. What have you done to recover these children? So we think Treasure, that American that was taken from the Niger to Nigeria, was it not you that talked about it last time, Bola? Yeah. How long did it take to recover the American? They knew exactly his location. One person. Correct. Then you take 300 people and nobody can see anything. Mm. So does that make any so sense? It definitely says to us that, that Russia, Nigeria is not working. That Russia, the of the federal Nigeria government is not being them. governed. That's yeah. what it means. No. It's an ungoverned space. Yeah. Who is in Asuro? It's an ungoverned space. It's not even about who is in Asuro, but who is in charge. Who is in charge? Who is in charge? Asuro is the house of, you know. It's just, it's just a building. Yeah. It, that's just a who building. Just, to be honest, really, it's just a building. Really but who is in charge? Who is giving the orders? It is not just about, oh, how bad, how sad. Oh, we will work to bring the children. What have you we'll done? We'll leave no stone unturned. The song unturned. is, what have you done <laughs> for me lately? <laughs> the president <laughs> condemned. Is in shock. The president is in Imagine. shock. How can you take 300 children <laughs> while I'm in Katsina and all my security apparatus is around here? No one saw anything. It is it's well sad. with us. Okay. It is time to draw the curtains on this week's episode of The Advocates. However, The Advocates continues on our social media platforms on Facebook, Plus TV Africa, hashtag The Advocate NG, on Twitter, and Instagram at Plus TV Africa, hashtag The Advocate NG. You can also catch up with previous broadcasts on plustvafrica.com forward slash The Advocate NG. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Plus TV Africa. Till next week, same time, same station. Please keep advocating for a better Nigeria. Bye bye. Bye bye. Okay, well, greet them in Canada. Bye -bye. <laughs> Five panelists. Five topical issues, no holds barred. For me, it's not knowledge that's lacking. It's that greed. It's that mentality where you feel you deserve to take your own and take it infinitely and let everybody else just manage however they will manage. We're almost becoming hardwired to try and cheat. I would, you know, suggest that we begin to hold our leaders accountable. There was a time in this country when yes. things actually work. I don't think that any organization should be above the law. And I think one of the challenges we have in this country is about governance across the board. What, what I'm saying is that it doesn't really affect us in Nigeria. I don't know what we can do if the system is already corrupted. We've been warned as a continent of the influx of the Chinese. If you don't repay your debt, they will just colonize you.